Hi and welcome to Add More Zest. My name's Rebecca, also known as 4Kids at 147 and today we have tip and trick number 55. Uh, I am working my way up with diamond painting tips and tricks uh, to hopefully get to 100 uh, but today is for 55. Um, I did actually do this tip and trick within a whip and waffle recently um, and sometimes I forget to actually sort of make sure I do a separate video on it for those that don't watch the whip and waffles or you know easy reference to the tips and tricks if you can't remember which whip and waffle it was in because I can't so why you guys would I don't know um, but this is in relation to those diamonds that you may get that are sort of stuck together back to back. So I'm hoping the camera picks it up, but I'm trying to straighten up these diamonds and there are a couple that will lie flat, but primarily I've pulled out all the single diamonds out of this. Uh, and these are all stuck together uh, diamonds. So they actually are creating a ball rather than a flat bottom half circle diamond. These are AB ones, uh, but I know I have these in my current painting. So these were the easiest ones to grab, but each and every one of these are tiny little balls. Now, sometimes what I do is once I have sort of fished out all the diamonds that will lie flat, is I may just grab, you know, a, a stuck together diamond set and crack them sort of between my fingers a little bit and they will separate into two diamonds um, and that's okay if you only have a couple within your diamond painting you know that you're doing if you only have a couple that are stuck together that's fine you can just sort of clip them between your fingers sometimes you do have to use your nail depends how stubborn they are um, but these are only sort of stuck together lightly um, I'm guessing they just have they just got caught on something in the process, in the diamond making process that have decided to make them cling together, whether it be when the AB coating was on or whether it be some sort of wash cycle that they go through. I don't know enough about the process to know when, uh, but they can stick together. But when you do have a lot of them, um, that can be a bit more cumbersome. So this is the tip and trick for today. For this, I am going to use our little jar. Uh, this was a gift in, it was one of the gifts in our advent calendar for 2023. Um, it was the one that caused a little bit more confusion than others. Uh, but it's a, it's a little tiny jar with a screw top lid and inside it is a nut. Just from the DIY shop, hardware shop, whatever you call it, just a nut. Um, is it nut or is it bolt? No, that's the nut. Oh, anyway, it is. It is just just a piece of hardware. <laughs> you could probably use a screw or a bolt just as much, uh, but we got these because they just fit nicely within here. Um, now, if you don't have one of these, you don't need one of these, you can make your own. Um, so grab some form of bottle, pill bottle, uh, not, not something glass, especially if you're shaking metal around in it, but pill bottles work, um, just some sort, sort of small tub. Ideally that you can either hold the lid onto when you shake it or like in this case, actually screw the lid on so that when you shake it, it's not gonna come off. And then instead of this, you could put in a penny or a coin of some sort. You just need something to be able to hit against the drills while it's going round in here. Um, and then what you do is you tip in, you can have your, your nut or bolt in there beforehand, doesn't really matter which order, there's no particular order to do them. Normally, um, the nut's in the bottom of there already for me. Uh, but you just pop them in together and then shake. And what you're doing is you're wanting that nut to go around in the jar and it will be hitting the sides and hitting those diamonds apart. Now, depending on 
on how tightly they are stuck will depend on how much you need to shape them. Um, it does help if you have quite a few diamonds in there because of course then they can hit against each other but that's not always possible. And then if you take out whatever piece of hardware that you've put in there and then pop them back into your tray. Now I may still have a few that are not quite done but if you have a look now all these here are flat. So these have all broken up. There is a few here that haven't. So, because it's, it's always handy to have something like this nearby where you're working. So you can always then place a load of diamonds and then bob them in again. Or, what I did before this video started, was I dampened my finger and basically just took out all the diamonds out of the tray, the awkward way. Um, before leaving just the ones that are stuck together so you do need to dampen your finger hopefully I'm not causing them to then stick to each other again but I've not noticed that dampening my finger does that otherwise I'm sure I would have done it on many more videos than others so if you imagine this is you placing them on your diamond painting you, you're able to use your diamonds they're all unstuck you get them all onto your diamond painting and then taking your ones that are still stuck together you can then do a mini rinse and repeat just take your stopper out that diamond is actually apart from each other come on pick up those two that i did before with my fingernail and then just go again and they put my stopper back in my tray because if I don't, I'll sit down and uh, I have already lost the whole of this pot. I tipped it onto my carpet before. Just a little side note for you. I did have to um, pick them all up before I started this video. Uh, and then I do it again. We do have a couple that seem to be stubborn, but there is definitely more that have been done. Of course, the more you shake it, the more likely you are to hit all the diamonds. Um, and then you can get to a point where, where it's either you've got them all, or some of them may just be too stubborn to come apart. I mean, that one I actually managed to do with my nail. So, yeah. That is a handy tip and trick for getting rid of diamonds that are clumped together, especially if you have a lot. That is what I find is the easiest way. So if you got our jar and not in the advent calendar, all the better. That's what you use it for. If not, then some sort of little pot or bottle, preferably plastic, wooden, even just not um, glass <laughs> um, because you will then need something small and sort of hard. I like these just because they've got extra angles to sort of hit against the diamonds and the side and break them apart. Uh, but you can use coins as well. Use a couple if you want. Pop a couple in um, and then give it a shake and that will break up any diamonds so that you can carry on dotting away. So hopefully that was helpful. Uh, do let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. But thank you all for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon.